Cycle 820, we have a, a bunch of things going wrong <laughs> that we need to solve. We have a, uh, I mean, we, we built a bunch of hydrogen machines, uh, generators, and we've cranked through a lot of hydrogen, probably more than I really planned on cranking through, more than we are actually generating. So we need to find a way to throttle that just a little bit more. Um, I think we're running through more than we're generating. Uh, part of that is due to the fact that I'm looking at this room that we've emptied, uh, and it looks like, at first glance, it's like, it's like, okay, well, we have some hydrogen at the top and not so much at the bottom, where previously this room was like packed with hydrogen. Like it was like 5,000 per tile. Uh, and it doesn't help, of course, that the oxygen is pretty dense and it's pushing its way up in here. Uh, but without having more hydrogen to throw into this mix, we're not going to pressure that, uh, that oxygen out of this room. Uh, it's not really that big of a deal that we don't have uh, uh, this whole room like caked in hydrogen. But because of the way we've set up certain things... It would be helpful if it was. Uh, we have a bunch of hydrogen up here that we could probably snatch up and bring down here. We have hydrogen that's been build, building up over here as well. Uh, we have a number of... Uh, we really only have a couple of electrolyzers that are operating right now. Two electrolyzers, actually. So we don't even have like that much in terms of hydrogen generation. I don't know how much generation, how much hydrogen these electrolyzers actually do generate. Let me see. Uh, 112 grams per second. Now, I don't know what that equates to over the course of time for like a cycle. Uh, I don't know the math on that. Like I wish it would actually just tell me per cycle. That'd be much more, that'd be much better. Um, Cause then you could calculate it against, you know, like like numbers against, you know, uh, the numbers that you're looking at when you look at an individual tile. Uh, what are the, the end, the a thousand end of season cliffhanger will be? I know, yeah, early stream. So yeah, we're getting started early so that we can, you know, get, uh, get as much done. Uh, I brought snacks. Not really, don't have enough for everybody. Uncrustables, if you don't know what Uncrustable is, then you must be living in a third world country because Uncrustables are just the best. If you don't know, they're peanut butter jelly that kind of like pre-pressed into a thing that you freeze and then you put in your lunchbox and then by the time lunch comes around, they're unfrozen and nice and chill and just crustless, as the name would imply, Uncrustables. Crustless peanut butter and jelly, which I actually like the crust, but you know, whatever. You take what you could get in terms of like things that you could just have sitting next to you while you stream and you can snack on it while you go. Uh, so yeah, let me go ahead and <clears throat> actually get started. Uh, there's a couple things that I wanted to change right away, so I actually put this here as a reminder. Uh, I want to move this thing up and over to the left, so that way I can make a little bit more room to split this, uh, split this power a little bit more, because it's getting a little bit beefy down here. So, beefy. So we'll put this right here, just basically reposition that. And we'll grab this, cancel that, take this, deconstruct, make that like a 9, get that out of there. Uh, does bread crust crunch now? I don't know. Uh, uncrustables, not uncrunchables, which would actually make them not crunchy. Uh, yeah, uncrustables. They don't have crusts on them. They cut them out. They're like circular. I'll show you guys when, when I when I get around to eating. And I'm gonna eat them right in your face. <laughs> All right, get rid of that too. Power. All right. So I I I I, I really want to get to. A, uh, you know, I don't know if we're gonna be. We're not gonna be going to space in like a hundred cycles. I, that's, I don't see that happening, unfortunately. Uh, <clears throat> what I do feel like we are capable of doing um, is getting to uh, a point where we're at least kind of preparing for that, right? Definitely between a thousand and two thousand cycles, we'll get there. <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, maybe. That's also a big if. We keep on having to juggle all these things that keep going wrong. Sorry, I'm deaf or stupid or deaf or both. Now you're fine. Uh, I don't have no power to this. What's wrong with this guy? Ah, red line. Why is it red lining? Because something, a lot of stuff is running. Oh, something's just barely running over the top. So yeah, I, I have to also put another transformer on this side somewhere. Uh, so that way we don't have this issue. Is that thing pumping out plastic? It is. That's probably one of the reasons why. And this is a uh, pipe block. Why is this thing overloading? Okay, so this is where the wire is overloading over here. We have a number of things here that probably um, is probably not helping too much. We have uh, full bins of natural gas. <clears throat> so that's great. That's a lot of natural gas. We could take and pipe into the uh, natural gas generators. So that way we can uh, compensate for uh, not having natural gas coming out of here. Like this, uh, this is basically done, actually. Probably gonna, it's probably going to start sucking up... Uh, uh, gas we don't want. So let me actually go ahead and have them turn off this switch here. Turn this off. And then what I'll do is I'll go down here. I'm gonna actually re-patch 
our path. Uh, I have some polluted gas in here. Let me see how much are in here is on all these. Natural gas, natural gas, natural gas, natural gas. Some polluted oxygen. Ooh, that's a good amount of polluted oxygen and carbon dioxide. So I didn't want to put a filter down, but I feel like I might have to. One dupe already achieved go into space. That's true. What up, Doc? Yeah, early me. That's right, we're going early. Oh man, we're getting, okay. Uh, yeah, it's just blowing up all over the place. <laughs> just blowing up everywhere. This thing's off. Let me check to see if there's anything else I can just like shut off real quick. It probably doesn't help that, the, um, that this thing is, uh, that they're running this thing back and forth. Maybe what I should do is actually turn this off for the time being because it only operates whenever they're using it. Um, disable building, there we go. That way, that way it's just one less. Okay, did he turn? It's <laughs> turning off. Because don't, they don't necessarily, just maybe again for the time being, they don't necessarily need to to, to get back faster. Just gotta get there faster. Uh, and this is, wow, this is really throttling. I'm hoping that this at least alleviates some of the line. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's good now. Yeah, good. So we don't have that burst. It's like chilling out of like 13, 14. So yeah, the second somebody uses a tube, it blows up the line. So we'll split those lines later. Early Mike is fixing yesterday Mike's shit. That's exactly what's happening. All right, the liquids are all in. Uh, this was a setup that I wanted to basically slowly trickle in all this nice, cold, icy, cold uh, uh, water. And then that will end up also, I hope, you know, maybe kind of like cooling the surrounding area, but that's like super wishful thinking, I think. Uh, this thing is chilling at uh, negative 11 point whatever. Uh, and it's just basically just cooling that and that's it. It has a supply of hydrogen, just barely has enough uh, hydrogen to operate. Okay. And this is not built yet, but they will get to this. Uh, never, we'll make that a six, which will make that a now thing, I think. What up, Jacket? What's happening? Jack, I don't feel like I feel you. I, I see. I don't feel like I feel you too much. I don't feel like I see you too often. Is that um? Am I like? Is this like a better time? <laughs> Just happy to catch you. I wonder if I should. Well, I'll leave this water alone. The last time I tried to pull out the water out, it caused a huge, huge commotion. So I will not. If if worse comes to worse with this setup here, if this starts pulling in nothing but shitty water, which could happen, uh, I'll just take this whole this this liquid uh, the liquid pump and I'll move it all the way to the right, and then it'll never see, <laughs> it'll never get to this uh, dirty water. And if it does get to that dirty water, then we've got other problems because this thing is going to be exiting dormancy in six cycles. This one is going to be uh, also exiting dormancy in a eight point six cycles. So here in about a week, uh, a week of cycle time, we'll get you know all those. Uh, yeah, we'll get all that stuff in. Let me actually go ahead and start tearing apart all of this. Looks like they're getting started. Emptying out the... Yeah, is it going to make a mess? I think we got pretty much everything out. At least I've had these orders here. It's empty. It says empty, so... It's going to release all the oxygen into the atmosphere, too. So it's going to get a little bit more pre a little pressurized around here. But it'll distribute. Let me see. All well, wires. Okay. Can I get all that, too, buddy? Good. Well, I get the pipes because they can reach. They can reach the rest from down here. Then we could do this. There. And then I can reach all that. Just off work today. I'm more of a VOD style viewer. All right. All right. All right. Oh. Another thing we got to do is we have to figure out this situation. <laughs> we have we have stuff that's feeding directly to the suits, which is great. We have you know stuff feeding the suits. But I feel like what we should probably do is have a third electrolyzer that just pumps uh, gases for, or oxygen for the suits, and that's it. Just just oxygen for the suits, and then hydrogen just to wherever. Um, I used to have an electrolyzer that was like down here, but the, but having it down here is a problem because it gets pretty sensitive to gases. The second it hits like 1800 uh, uh, pressure, like per tile, then it shuts off. And so there's no way we'd be able to put it inside of here and just hope it just works because it just wouldn't work. Uh, up here, maybe a little bit better, but it's also getting pretty, uh, pretty bad. Uh, more hydrogen would definitely be better. Yeah, exactly. So getting something in place so we could generate more hydrogen would be would be ideal because that way we could build all this up. We could have a res uh, you know, good reserves going for hydrogen and then start using some of that to power some of the base. Um, but first, before we get carried away, because we are getting carried away, Let's go ahead and start routing some of this. What does this go to? This goes up and over. This is a carbon dioxide dump. Okay, so maybe what we should do is maybe repurpose this carbon dioxide dump and use it as a natural gas delivery system. 
We don't have a filter for our natural gas, so maybe if we do put one in, we should put it right over here somewhere. That way we could just keep it separate from, you know, all this nonsense. We'll just dump it into this room. I think that's fine. Yeah, we could kind of squeeze one in here. Let me see how we do that. I think it would, let's, let's set that part up first. Let me see, gas filter. It's gonna be costly. And then we'll go inside here. Oh yeah, this is totally work, nice. And then we can just come out here. And this will be a better way to do it if we come out here and come down the bottom and just kind of then that way we could evenly distribute this amongst these three generators so they're all running, you know, uh, evenly. We can do this and do this and do this. And I should cancel these ones because we don't have any generators over here. And then we could just set up right here for everything else that's not natural gas will go to this vent and it'll just shoot straight out. Perfect. That's simple. Very simple. How's the power there? Uh, oh, cool. It's right next to that. Fantastic. Done. And then what we'll do is, because we're going to be hijacking a line from here, we're going to snip this. So we'll snip this over here. We're not running. We're not going to be pumping carbon dioxide out from the base or from the bottom uh, anytime soon. So. Sup, Rex. And this part's gonna be easy. All we gotta do is take this and just go, uh, boop, boop, and that's done. And it's flowing already, which means something was built. No, we didn't quite build it yet. <laughs> Calm down. Uh, I don't wanna, I guess I could force it in with a, with a jump. I probably should use a, use a, use a jump, a bridge. And we'll jump it right here. And that way we could use all this other piping area for something else. What if I should put it here just to have, uh, cause I gotta think ahead, cause like, you know, we might have pipes gonna be jumping, but Oh, you know what? We're not going to be jumping anything right there. So let's put it here. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Like a tiger. Uh, cut all these. We can reuse those resources. And then once this is done, then we'll separate all this and put a bridge and all that shit. Actually, we'll go and put the bridge in now. Oh, God. These plumbing lines are starting to look like mom's spaghetti. <laughs> they are. Everything, everything in this is, is turned into mom's spaghetti. And then we'll just go clip up like that. And that's gonna make it act weird for a second, but once we get everything in, I should be able to go through and clean all this stuff up and make it look pretty. We'll leave the vent there, but this, this we don't need anymore. Good, good. Plus, someone's going there tearing all that up. Awesome. Now build the rest. Build the things that we need. Natural gas is lining up, ready to go. We have some polluted oxygen, but that's gonna, I mean, that's gonna contaminate. Oh, it's not contaminating anything. Never mind. It's gonna go out into the, uh, into this system. So, into this space. Good, that's handled. This is uh, this other over here, the power. We have to split this line. That way we can keep this, keep the piece. No? Why do I do that? That is definitely connected. Oh, because these are pulling power from, okay, so that now it's getting power, right? <clears throat> that big ass line's coming down over here and it's going to this. See, current load 2.4 kilowatts out of 20 kilowatts. I mean, it's getting power. Why is this not to hook it up backwards? No power in, power out. Is it hooked up right there? Huh, what am I doing wrong here? This looks weird. You guys see anything weird about this? Like, why is it not? Like, this has got power. Current load 2.4 kilowatts. It's generating. It's hooked up all the way over here too, right? Yeah, it is hooked up to here. These are getting power just fine. Um, at the very least, if it's not enough power, it should be trying to operate. Like, like this is getting power because because like, other other transformers are taking that power and, and redistributing it. Um, but this is not. I th maybe it's just a bug. Let me um, let me cut it, and reconnect it. See if maybe that'll do it. Okay, maybe that's just maybe it's a bug or something. Do do do. What was that made out of? Uh, gold. Okay, cool. That way you can use the same stuff that's laying on the ground right there. Make it out of gold. And then we'll make that an emergency. Do the last one. Do the last one. No power wire connected. Yep. Yeah. What the hell? 
I'm legit confused, man. I don't know what what the hell is this thing from. Power available zero. Is this wire not connected? Maybe this wire is messed up. Maybe this wire is not connected or something. Let me uh, paint over it. Let's redo it. I mean that's that's. Uh, <laughs> We'll tear it up and we'll build it again. Oh, oh, now it's, oh, now it's going. What the? F flip it. Okay, now it's going. Nothing changed. Everything's still running exactly the same. Maybe I had to just like tell them to cut it and look, now it's fine. Weird. Um, bug. Yeah, I just got a weird bug. Okay. Well, we good. Let's go ahead then and uh, we're feeding this thing tons of, uh, whoa. Okay, yeah, it's right. We got to cut this part out. Oh crap, they didn't finish this filter. Uh, no, not P, not P, we'll do P9, 9. For H, H's fine. Repaint seem to fix it? Yeah, probably. Weird. Maybe the overall load on the three net gens is bigger than what they output and nothing gets to the further away transformer. It should definitely at least distribute it evenly along the line and then it'll just toggle off and on. Like, they'll just, you've seen them like when they flash, like they get some power and then they shut down. They get some power and they shut down. Like that's what it should do. Oh, uh, hold on. Where are you going with all that stuff, bud? Uh, <laughs> uh, we want natural gas to go through and then the rest we're going to have to cut out uh, using some snip snips, snip snip, snip snip. And then uh, let's see what goes snips up here. Let all that gas get through. A little snip snip there as well. And then maybe we'll do actually we'll do this just to get rid of what's in the line right here. And then we'll uh and then we'll we'll, we'll reconnect it. Oh, it's taking longer than I thought it would. There we go. Let me go and cut of these. Good. Freed up some uh stuff there and now we have natural gas coming from down here with three bins full of it and four bins full of it and we have all this over here that's constantly pressure pushing it out so we're good kind of early it is kind of early yeah we you know we in order for us to get to where i want to get before we wrap up this episode uh we're gonna have to go through and do um where's it going without oxygen oh it's right it goes all the way down and around that's right that's right so it doesn't get backed up um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to basically start doing uh, or start early and start setting everything up and get ready. This is no way we're gonna make it to a thousand cycles if we just did you know three or four hours a day, three and a half hours a day, and then three and a half four hours tomorrow. This wouldn't work out. So let me go ahead and put uh, a bridge. Uh, we're going with that. Uh, I'm gonna put a bridge down here, a gas bridge, so that way I can uh, basically force it up and over, and then yeah, 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 yeah. And then I'll snip it right here. This way it should it should force it through here first. Yeah, there you go. So it's gonna force it up here first, and then once this gets full, then it'll start redirecting oxygen down and then into you know the cold biome and all that. Cold biome. <laughs> it's not much of a cold biome anymore. I uh, I do I do want to redo our AC, because our AC is ass right now. Well we have well we have plenty of gas right now, so I guess it's not that bad, but um where is it at right now in terms of 43 degrees. So it's nice, cool air. At the very least, we're keeping the place chill. Starvation. How much of my bay is going to take a shit? Oh, look at that. Wow. Look at that. Every time. It doesn't fail. <laughs> I don't understand why that is. I just don't understand why that is. Uh, let me see. So anyway, like I was saying before, electrolyzer. Another electrolyzer I feel like is necessary to keep... You know, just to just to keep this uh, base running smooth. I wonder if if I kill this, and this is not doing anything. Like this hydrogen setup is great, but also not that great. I wonder if I should set up another electrolyzer up here and basically just replicate this whole setup, right? Just have it basically pumping everything out. So the hydrogen will fill the area, and then we will. Uh, can they reach out over there? Probably not. So let's do uh, let's do this. Just kind of open this up. I think I think I am gonna put another high, uh, another uh, electrolyzer up here. Same setup as down here, just for electrolyzer. Nothing, nothing else. Uh, have the water piped from the bottom, which I think is enough. I think this is enough. Yeah, it's already backing up, so it's definitely enough. Maybe just barely. And then we could have that pump into 
uh, other areas of the base, or maybe at the very least, just meet with this and just we'll just constantly have cold oxygen coming. Like instead of having gaps, we could just pipe it in, like inject it somewhere. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, at the very least, we could we could put it down this line so that way we could keep the suits full. Yeah. Hungry time take a shit. I know. I need you check in during my break at like five something. Yeah, we're early. It means I can watch some live while I'm still at work. The last couple hours of work should go much faster now. Well, hey, there you go. There you go. Good. Yeah, the suits are pretty, um, pretty important. What the hell is that? Oh, someone got really happy. Put stickers everywhere. <laughs> that is excellent. Uh, we should put some uh, drywall up too, just to keep some folks busy. We'll put it like low priority and we'll make it out of like coal because we have like a thousand pieces of coal. Well, the thousand is actually vastly underselling it. Let me see. Uh, consumable ore. We have 44.7 tons of coal. I don't know what to do with it right now. So, yeah, maybe that's something we could do. Just get some uh, drywall going. Hatchling egg. Let's take it. Uh, let me see. What is it? Can we make it out of coal? If I can't make it out of coal, then I'm not going to bother. <laughs> Let's see. Da, 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 da. Coal's around, isn't it? Oh shit! I can't. Damn it. I can make it out of obsidian. I make. I could. I have plenty of resources. I can make a bunch, but never mind. Just kidding. <sighs> can I make it out of temp shift plates? That's what we'll do. It was probably Lindsay. Which one? What? Oh, here we go. This is. Uh, this part's done. Da -da -ba -ba -ba. Get that cut out. Actually, they probably get all this cut out right here. Nah, we'll see that little. There's a little pocket right there, and I don't really like those little pockets. You know the wallpaper mod to add different color background depending on the material you use? I don't! I do not. I know. I know. Oh god, everyone's gonna get my. <laughs> Everyone. I, I, maybe eventually, but not right now. It's not important right now. Okay. Oh wow, that's not that important. Let me, uh. It's a nine important, but that's about it. We'll get this cable coming up. It's about there. And then we'll put an electrolyzer right there. That way we can have pipe electrolyzer, that is. Wait, is that a pipe electrolyzer? Oh yeah, duh, because we're we're siphoning out the um the hydrogen or the oxygen to put in there. Which is exactly what we're gonna do up here. Man, these things are expensive power wise. Holy crap, this is gonna be a problem. I wonder if I should split it. Like maybe not put it on the same, because this is good. this is gonna hurt. This is definitely gonna hurt. I think what we should do is, and actually before you cut that, go ahead and cut all this because you know I do want them to have a little bit of breathing room around them if they can. Uh, you can actually get all of this. Yeah, what is that dirt? That's fine. Cut all that out. Um. Yeah, this line is is definitely gonna start. What is it at? Oh, actually, no, it's still pretty good. Oh, you know what? Yeah, this thing, this line is only operating this section over here. So that's fine. Yeah, this, this will be fine. It'll, it'll push it, but it's going to be, it's not going to break it or anything. So, oh my God, <laughs> I missed. <laughs> I should have looked at the one below it. Who would have told me? There we go. Somebody had an issue with something. I don't know what it was. Uh, what if I should have to go over here and cut all this out too? This is not really providing any kind of insulation or anything like that. Yeah, if anything, it's hot, so we can just get it out of here. <laughs> just, just, just get out. Coal, phosphorite, dig tool. Okay, so we'll we'll have them. They can step over this and, and, and get all of this up pretty easily. What is that, sand? Oh, that's sand, so that's going to fall. Oh, uh, yeah, we need vents too. All right, so yeah, we're going to kill the hydrogen setup. And then we'll have this hydrogen just basically pump back to where it was before. Remember, I, I left this here saying, you know, maybe that'll come in handy later, but that's not a right now thing. Well, guess what? <laughs> that is the right now thing. We're here. Hundreds of cycles later. So we'll just go down here, around, reconnect that. And then we'll go up. And where is my... There's a hydrogen vent right there. So we'll come down here. Should we... Yeah, we'll go like this. And then we'll go just right to it. We don't have to do anything fancy. And then a bridge. Then we can cut this when they're done. That's what we'll do right now. It's just going to get a little pressure in there and it'll be fine. We can get all this out of the way. 
there is, I think this is a hydrogen split right here. So it's going to bring in, it's going to let hydrogen go through this mix. Um, I don't want hydrogen to go through that mix. So <laughs> I will probably just turn off the sensor actually. And that'll be that. Easy. So it'll just bring whatever, whatever goes through, it'll just go through and it'll just split it. I think it'll split it evenly. No, I don't think it will split it, split it evenly. But we're not getting anything through there anyways. Where is that coming from? Oh, it's coming from this vent right here. A hydrogen vent at that. So, uh, no, we're not going to mess with that. Oh, you know, I, I get it. So I set it up so that it would go through and filter out everything except for hydrogen. So that way when it comes back into the generators, it's clean. That was the problem that I had before. Got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. By the way, we haven't used hydrogen generators in a long time. <laughs> We've somehow managed to keep this, uh, keep this thing together. Without the use of that. And then what I'll do is, I'll just snip it here. I guess if gases go up and over, that's probably not that big of a deal. Let me actually cut all of this, so... Make a mess. So we'll do this, this, this. And then we'll just attach these things, I guess. Let me see. We'll just deconstruct all that. And then we'll get the pipes in here. And then... And I'll do it. Good. So oxygen will go out and in. Then it'll be... There, what is that? Abyssal light? That's fine, I can stay. I can do two stacks, there we go. I'm trying to see if I can get all of this without having to build another set of ladders. Uh, if hydro electrolyzer includes a power cosmic pump and filter. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, no liquid intake. Oh, I didn't bring the water over. <laughs> that part's pretty important too, guys. Plumbing. Insulated, and we'll just go straight up. Yeah, nice. Straight up and then over. There, that'll do it. And they can reach on that. And this water comes from nothing, actually. Okay, cool. This oh, this was a backup, like just in case I needed emergency water. Uh, maybe we can actually go ahead and get rid of this and claim back these resources. Because all this is coming from over here. And so I think this isn't be enough. I mean it might just barely be enough, actually. Hmm. Okay, look what's going in. This room is so cold. Ice cold. And then that's gonna go... Wait, where do I have the output going to? Oh yeah, I gotta get the output straight, because otherwise it's gonna just push oxygen into what? Into nothing! So let's go ahead and mm, kill this bridge. Kill this bridge. Well, hold on a second. Where am I taking this? Hold on a second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where am I taking this? Let me see. I want to... I, you know, I want to push it directly into these, into the suits here. Or at the very least inject it early there, so that way they can... Like, this split is a problem, right? I can't put it in right here because this is going to be packed. Right? I mean, it's this, it's this oxygen in every single thing. It's, it's, it's not full. Hmm, it's not full though. What is a full line? Is it a 10,000 or a thousand? Oh, it's a thousand. So it's close enough to being full that having another electrolyzer share the same exact pipe is, is going to be a problem. But having it attached right here after the split, that'll be perfect. That will at least give this line that's going all the way over to the suits, it'll give it a full uh, a full bandwidth of, uh, of oxygen. It might get a little backed up, in which case we'll tackle whether or not we need to make some more adjustments there. But I think for this, for our purposes right now, we can... Should I use a, a jump? No, because I don't really have anywhere to jump into. So we'll just go straight down. And then we will attach it right there. And that'll be that. Uh, let's see. In and out. Oh, wait. What was I get? It's always oh, the top one. <laughs> okay, so we'll just attach right to it. There we go. And also, probably... Uh, oh, that's right, because we were using... Yeah, I forgot. We were using uh, insulated to test how how well we can redistribute some of that um, that cool energy from the hydrogen and soak up some of the heat that was generated by the machines. I think just in case I don't get to this in time, I'm going to do this. And this should, this should make a pretty big difference. If we, had to, if we had to force it in a certain direction, we could just use, you know, a gas bridge or something. But for our purposes, I think this will probably be good. And this is not doing anything because it probably just either doesn't have uh, empty pipe. Empty pipe because... Oh, because these last two sections are not done. Let me see. Those are nines. Wow, that must be really busy. <laughs> I did give them a lot of stuff to do, so... And the suit, the suits have oxygen. But you can see some of them are not. They're not quite ready. 
and so here, here's what I was thinking. If we could automate this somehow, like, you know, maybe eventually put in a switch so we could basically have, because I look at the back here, we, act, we can actually link all of these things together. Uh, so that way, whenever all the suits are full, we can then redirect that oxygen to something else. Like, there's got to be something we could do with this. So that way we can have a better, better distribution of, uh, of the gases throughout the, uh, throughout the base. Um, probably should also, like, turn off the, the lights and stuff like that. Like, maybe put a sensor in here. Like, little things like that contribute to heat, right? So, like, let's get a dupe sensor. Duplicate motion sensor. And we'll let the game catch up. Yeah, I have the mod with splitters. It, it favors one side over another, uh, which is, you know, fine. It's just, uh, let's just do this. We'll just do two of them. It's not going to hurt anything. And then we'll just go over and up. And then over and there we go. Good. Now I can take care of that light. And it looked like I almost got done with this. Great. Could do I think we'll do two at a time here that they can reach. We're gonna have to redo all this stuff over here. This whole well, we'll do something with this. I don't know what. Food over here is getting pretty warm, uh, it looks like. But once once our ooh. Hmm. It's getting warm. We're 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 de we definitely have more oxygen than we know what to do with. Uh we just need to keep oxygen flowing through here. So maybe what we should do is set up a simple small gas pump system that just takes gas and just dumps it like out through a wall. That way we could keep circulation going. Because if you look, I mean, look right here, like this, this line is backed up. There's plenty of cold air in here, 67 degrees. Like this would absolutely bring down the temperature in this area. Uh, alternatively, I guess I could swap this off for radiant pipe or something, so that way when it goes down this line, it just radiates and just cools everything in the area. That's not a bad idea. Let's try, let's try that, actually. Radiant's pretty... Uh, that might be pretty overkill, but I say we try it. If anything, it'll be fun. Uh, but yeah, regarding the splitters mod, it favors one side over the other, so it's not like an even distribution, but I, I am going to play with it, you know, later and see if there's something we could do with it, but I think right now. Um, just using the gas bridge setup is probably fine. Good, this room's getting nice and packed, so we'll want to see. Uh, dormant, dormant. We'll wait till this basically says that it's full. We'll overpressurized, and then we'll come back and tackle it again. This is very slowly getting full. Look at this. Uh, it's 40 degree water, though. So it is, it is gonna get cold. And, I mean, it could be colder. This actually is getting colder. Uh, negative 21.5. Very slowly, but it is getting colder, technically. I wonder if, just for the purpose of, of, of cooling the liquid, let's do this. Let's go and put a couple of, uh, there we go. You want to see that purple, that room purple again? Me too. I, th I think doing this, I think putting a couple of uh, uh, insulator right here is going to make a huge difference. Because there is, there's, there's energy leaking out here. You can see clearly the fucking ladder is negative 11 degrees. <laughs> and right above it's 14 degrees. It's a 25 degree difference between those two. So, yeah, there is definitely a difference there. Long commutes. Damage overheated. Building lacks resources. Micro mushrooms flying. Uh, damage overheated. Oh, this bullshit. I hate that. Oh my god. Can I just, like, dev delete this stuff? I don't want to see these alerts <laughs> for something like that. Alright, we're getting through our natural gas, though. Whoops. We're refeeding it, but, uh, but yeah, we're definitely going to be running out. The more we use this, the more we get gas, the more we get... Yeah, but... Maybe I should make this a higher priority, like a 7, that way people come down here and use it more often. This thing's still no power. Insufficient power. Oh, what is this? I wonder if I should hook this thing straight up to a trunk. Like, just, just put a damn... Just run this wire all the way across. And then, you know, run it through the door. And just have just a trunk, like, of, of you know, um, heavy wall wire. Right here. That way we don't have to worry about this. Like, no power issue. This thing will always work. How much... Do I have the metal for that? We used to be metal starved. We still are metal starved. <laughs> I can put 47 copper ore pieces. Let me see. I'd have to go up over here. Can I put a heavy wall plate right there? I can. Will it destroy that ladder? I don't know. Maybe I put it right here. Underneath the door. And then we'll just leave a gap right there. They can operate like that. One tiny little gap. Let me see. I'm mean, gonna have to kill this wire, bypass this wire here. 
me see. So we'll just go for this one. We'll just go over, down. There we go. So that'll take care of that. And then we'll have that trunk come through and connect to the door. It won't connect to the door, actually. So we'd still have to have a wire going to that. So that, that does connect. Hmm. Let's speed things up. This will at least relieve some of the stress that we're getting from uh, uh, on some of the lines. Because we are going to continue expanding. We're not going to stop and just say, okay, cool, we're done. Like, <laughs> we are going to expand this. It's just a matter of, like, how. And then we'll go to that. And then what we'll do is we'll run wire underneath. Actually, let's go ahead and... We'll, yeah, you know what? We'll just uproot all of this. Yeah, we have, yeah, we have this wire and all this stuff. This is fine. But that's why you're supporting other things. Yeah, it's supporting other things, so... So, good. We'll cut all that wire. Uh, they don't have, they're gonna have an issue with the door. They'll be upset about the door not working for a minute, but they'll be fine. Let me see a heavy wall wire. And we'll just connect this thing directly as soon as it's done. So, we'll come down here. Really can go over ladders, huh? I thought for sure you couldn't go over ladders. Hmm. Oh, it connected these two. Ha 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 I was like, why did everything turn red? Connected those two. <laughs> Jump with a gun. And this should be able to go down. And then there. And actually we'll cancel the destruction of this, otherwise they're gonna cut that cut that cut a hole in that. We will run another wire underneath to control the door, because I don't think we I, don't, I really don't think we could connect heavy wall wire to a door. So we'll do this. Damn it. Go, 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 go. They're walking everywhere, man. We got tubes for a reason. <laughs> so my dupes don't have to walk. What up, Hugshot? I wonder how that, um, how that's doing. Negative 38, see? Already. Already, which means the liquid that's coming out is probably much colder. Yeah, negative. Now it's now the liquid that's coming out is in the negative. So if we start seeing burst pipe issues, we're, after, we're gonna have to come in here real quick and replace this with like maybe a row of standard piping instead of insulated and then one radiant. Uh, speaking of insulated and radiant, what is that? The this one over here. Uh, so here we go. So it's it's in here. So we've now. Oh, good. So we've we it has pushed out all of the uh, energy that it's had. It's shared it with the environment. So it's now a cool 86 degrees uh, instead of what is it coming out at 50 degrees. And it's still not enough to, uh... <laughs> it's still not quite enough. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I think, I think just getting airflow. Airflow is... Don't do that right now! <laughs> Jesus, man! Okay, a lot of... A pufflet. Yeah, there we go. We got power issues. We can't afford people just running around just playing fucking boombox. Can't afford that stuff. Okay, so power's not coming over here. And then... Now we have that. Mike, I'm going to a crash course in air frying. Oh, you just got a Cuisinart? Boy, I could have given you a referral link. <laughs> uh, no, the Cuisinart is the one that we have. It is. Are you in UK time? <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just, uh, I started at what, 10.30 uh, Pacific time? So a little earlier than normal, for sure. You just started after, after lunch. Or started before lunch. And we brought our lunch with us. Uh, air frying tips. Just throw something in there, slather it up, some meat, put it on the little mesh that it comes with, uh, put the tray underneath so that way it doesn't drip, right? Uh, and then put it in on air fry for like 12 minutes. So I take like a slab of salmon or we did pork last night. Pork's a little bit trickier. Uh, chicken, whatever kind of meat you want. Usually about 12 to 18 hours or so, or to 8 hours, fuck, reading text, reading chat, and everything, talking at the same time. Uh, usually 12 to uh, to 18 minutes will be uh, sufficient to air fry whatever it is that you need. And if you're watching this VOD on YouTube and you want to pick yourself up air fryer, please feel free to reach out to me and I'll generate an affiliate link for you. Okay? All right. Thank you so much. But yeah, we love our air fryer. We used it last night. We're going to use it again tonight. It's just, it's just the best. It's just the best. All right, so now we have power, dedicated power going to this over here. Uh, I think we should put some batteries down here, honestly. There's nothing else that we can really squeeze down here. Not that I know of, nothing I can think of right now. So I think we should probably slap some uh, some solid batteries down here. 
Even though we're probably not going to be able to get to use them as a... Uh... Oh, man. They're so expensive. Overheat to the iron. Man, iron's got crazy overheat temperature. Let me see. Is this right? Will this go all the over evenly? Yes, it looks like it will. Perfect. Yeah. Then we'll uh, we'll also attach these to the uh, to the automation system. So let's go ahead and get that going. It's automation. There's automate. There it is. I did pass on the affiliate link, but my roommate bought it. So I have no idea if he used it. No worries. No worries. I ain't mad. Uh, is this the way to? No, we have to go. We have to go into one of the gates. So is there? A quick way to the gates there is actually we'll go straight up here and we'll dot dang it no, gotta go up and around <laughs> there we go <laughs> let's go and you know what just for the time being we're going to connect all of these automation uh pieces here and that will be that way we, if we do decide to hook that up to something which we're definitely going to do then yeah we can kick that on Watch this is crazy to me, Eskimo Bizzle says. I like that last name. Uh, I have 80 hours in the game, and I can get a nice couple game around 80 to 100 cycles. Seeing this is insane. Really? Good. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, oh, shit. We're out of power. <laughs> what happened, man? What happened? Did we cut? Oh, do we cut a line somewhere? None of the generators are running. Is it because of the and or? Did they already cook that up? Let me see. Green, 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 green. So that means they should be on. They're setting a green signal. Insufficient resource. Oh, did we go through all that? Oh! <laughs> we did. We went through it fast. It's cool. It's cool because we have a pump right here just waiting to go. All we got to do is get somebody over here uh, in a hurry and turn on this switch. Right now, turn on this switch. We're out of power completely. I messed up. That was my fault. Uh, what I should do is set up an atmospheric sensor in here to turn off this uh, area for whenever there's just not enough um, natural gas. And it could be really low. I think like 500 or 400 or something like that. Boy, they're really fast at getting to this emergency. Pull this fucking lever right now. That's it. We're going red alert. The first time we've ever gone red alert. It's happening right now. Get the switch. Uh-oh. Hold on. Aaron's unreachable. Uh oh. You know why? Because these fucking dicks. It's disabled by the uh, automation grid. Of course it is. I hooked them all together so they're all telling each other to turn off. <sighs> okay. How about instead of disconnecting it, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put a switch. Just a simple switch. Put a light switch right there. And this is going to be done right now. Right right this second. There we go. Get it. 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 Good. Now it's on. They're not asleep. They didn't sleep at all last night because of this. Um. Boop. There we go. Oh, they did. It should, it should turn those off whenever they finish that. Whenever they actually uh, finish the job there. Uh, anyways, Bizzle, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I have, uh, I have like five, 500 hours into the game. Um, lots of trial and error, though. I have so many failed worlds. I have failed, but just, you know, you get to the point where it's like, well, this is not going anywhere. And you just like quit. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I have plenty of those. Um, yeah, it just, just, just takes, uh, practice time. So the, the idea that I had was to have the suits trigger, uh, a bypass for oxygen. It's actually not going to work. Uh, speaking of, we're not getting any oxygen because I forgot to put a bridge here. Oh, smart. Man. This is what happens to do too much at once. By the way, Donut spilled half my coffee this morning, so I'm basically, I'm basically operating on, like, no brain right now. <sighs> do that right now! There's a mini learning curve with how long to cook depending on your fryer. We have a 10 quart Instapot version. I add extra time each recipe because of the size. Yeah, so what we do is we put it like at 30 minutes and we set a timer on the microwave. So that way we can keep track of the, um, uh, what is the deal here? Oh my god, because there's no power. Isn't that a lovely issue to have? So there's no power to this, so it's not going to start cycling any of this natural gas that we desperately need. 
into this setup here. So what we have to do is put a bicycle down just to spark it. That's it. Which I actually wouldn't take much. We just put a bicycle right here, actually, and that'll uh, that'll do it. Just one manual labor, maybe like two, just to fill in the space. So many issues. This is what it's like, though, Esquil Bizzle. Like you get to a certain point, and you're just you're just basically playing whack-a-mole. There's just stuff going wrong all over the place, and you're just constantly, constantly playing whack-a-mole. Let me see a copy of the settings for these batteries because it shuts off at five percent. We'll do it. These ones too. There we go. All right, build this right now. Because we don't have anything going on. <laughs> so they can't get to it because of all oh, the power. All right, uh, let's let's disable this. Uh, disable building. Oh my god, they're sleeping now. They're happily they're not stressed out. So we'll disable that building. That way they can get over there, take care of that. Got a snazzy suit coming in. <laughs> Roll eyes. Wait for it to catch up. There we go. Now they can come over here and build this, build this, build this, build this, build this. Right now, build this, build this. Let's go. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. It's scalding. It's like, oh god, it's so hot. Wonder why? Because this building's off. You guys don't have suits, you fucks. Now someone get on these damn bikes and start pedaling. <laughs> Battery recharge threshold. I think, let's see. The dudes request to operate the generator where the total charge of the connected batteries falls below 50%. Now let's do total charge below falls, falls below 1% because... The the rest of the uh, uh, the automation is set up so that whenever it, see now it's working fine. Uh, the automation is set. Oh no, actually no. Do this is this have automation? I mean, these guys gotta get out of here. Y'all gotta get out of here. Get some suits. Get okay. Oh my gosh, killing day. I'm just gonna tell you guys. Move over here. There you go. You two, Wolvie or the Navy Devil. Got all these kids. 